So I enjoy doing fun with chemistry um, because it gives me the opportunity to be representation for women and minorities in STEM. With fun with chemistry, we're able to take these STEM experiences and bring them to schools that maybe wouldn't be able to be exposed to these kinds of concepts. We go to local K through 12 schools in the Houston area to try to promote increased access to science demonstration. And so we'd like to get kids excited about learning science concepts in kind of a fun, but also educational way. So one of the experiments that we really like to do, we call genie in a bottle. So in this experiment, we take an Erlenmeyer flask, and what we'll do is we'll measure out a chemical called hydrogen peroxide. So hydrogen peroxide has the formula H2O2. We're gonna use something called a catalyst. So it allows us to take the H2O2 and convert it into H2O and oxygen. When we add the catalyst, this decomposition reaction occurs and we see a large plume of smoke. And so that's because this reaction is hot. For our oscillating clock demonstration, we combine three clear solutions and see what happens to our color changes. A and B mix to form C. That reacts in a second reaction in order to form iodine, which is what gives us that really nice yellow color. So depending on the pathway and the concentration of iodine, we see the disappearance and reappearance of that yellow color, like a clock. This reaction is called elephant toothpaste, exactly the same as what happens in the genie in a bottle experiment, but we add two more additives to this that make this reaction a little more interesting. We add some regular dish soap, which is just blue, and then we also add some food coloring. So when we do the decomposition reaction and form water and oxygen, instead of getting steam, like in the genie in a bottle experiment, we get soap bubbles, which are very colorful due to the food coloring. When this reaction occurs, it's what we call exothermic. You can see there's steam coming out of the bubbles that come out of the Erlenmeyer flask. The universal indicator demonstration um, focuses on a couple of different chemical concepts. So for these, we like to talk about the pH scale and then state of matter changes. And so we start our demonstration by adding sodium hydroxide, which is basic. Carbon dioxide is dry ice and it starts off as a solid, but then it also produces a vapor in the warm air. And so this process going straight from a solid to a gas is what we call sublimation. And as we add some dry ice, we decrease the pH of this solution and every time the pH decreases we see color changes from the purple to the blue, green, orange, and then finally ending at the yellow color which indicates that at the end of the reaction we have an acidic pH. So the wash bottle is one of our favorite demonstrations. This is a very exothermic reaction. Our fuel source is a compound containing carbon. When we heat this fuel source in the presence of oxygen, we form carbon dioxide. So that's the loud whoosh that you hear, hence the wash bottle. And we form water. In one of them, we add something a little extra, so you'll notice that that one is green. In that wash bottle experiment, we actually add boric acid. Fun with Chemistry is very fortunate in the chemistry department to have a lot of graduate student volunteers. So this has allowed us to go and perform these demonstration shows for kids all over Houston. Going to schools and just being present as a minority woman, doing science shows girls that they can see themselves up there doing similar things. And I'm really glad that I get to be a part of that. I think it's really important that we take our expertise and knowledge and really bring that to the community.